Day one, Vlogmas, 1st December 2016. I really had a restless night. Kept thinking about Vlogmas. Let's get the day started. So I've done meditation, visualization, affirmations, exercise, and next is reading. All you are doing is putting wrinkles in your brow, and that makes you look older, you know. It's a chapter about worrying. It says over here, it's okay to worry properly, profitably, usef usefully. It is not okay to worry pointlessly or needlessly. Or at least, it is okay. But it's a colossal waste of life. That speaks to me a lot, in fact. Um, well, it's, it's something I've noticed very often uh, in me. I'm a person who worries a lot. But one thing which I've noticed and I would like to give advice about is the fact that sometimes you worrying for the sake of worrying. And when you actually sit down or look inside yourself and say, what am I actually worrying about? It actually takes time to find out what you're worrying about. Because you're just in a state of worry without being mindful of what you're worrying about. And when you find out, sometimes you say, ah, is that what I was worrying about? And the worry kind of dissipates. So just knowing what you're worrying about, being consciously aware of what it is, that I think helps a lot. And then this book's, book it also gives you the advice of when you, once you know what, you, what you're worrying about, if there's something you can do about it, then just do it. Very often, we just prefer to be in a state of worry rather than actually solving it. The fact that even if whatever you're going to do does not solve it or does not solve it immediately, the fact that you're doing something, actively addressing it, that already helps uh, in reducing the worry, which is finally what you want to do. <laughs>
pumpkin spice as usual. So it's 8.20, which means I'm already running late. I've got to do the first half of my 20 minutes of house cleaning, and I'll do the second half after work. So let's see. What can I do? I'll just start from the top. So it's essentially wiping down appliances, large and small, and surface cleaning, living room, and kitchen. Off the shower. Let's do the advent calendar thing. This is a bit of a healthy advent calendar because it's got no goodies but it's a nice thing to do every morning. So we're at day one. We've got a long way to go. It's kind of a countdown for my vlogmas too. Off we go. 9 a.m. So I'm running late. Where's the lights? Oh look, conveniently placed bag. Just got home, uh, quite exhausted. I had a long day, won't be decorate, doing any decorations uh, today. Um, just call my parents, just basically say hi, catch up, and start cooking, start editing, and go to bed. Hopefully early so I can start another day of Vlogmas tomorrow. All the decoration. I've stolen. <laughs> You'll see them in a few days hung around the flat. Having the rest of my smoothie, my morning smoothie, and gonna make pizza. Got the bases ready, and we'll see what toppings to put on it. So, we're gonna make a bit of a taste test of these two products, both so furky. One, hours, one of them is one item are sausages, um, chicken and apple, chicken and apple, not chicken, and tofurkey smoky maple bacon tempeh. I've already opened uh, the box. Gonna start by putting the sausages in the oven while I'm frying the tempeh. Gonna try and do it without any oil. But the most important thing is Vegan! Vegan! Here we've got the sausages. They don't look that bad, no? 
we've got three ways of cooking them I'm going for my preferred one, the grill so I'm heating, preheating the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about five minutes and I'll put them in and I'll just check on them because it doesn't say how long you should leave them in the oven Let's get frying. It smells so bacony. It smells good. It's just, you know, the smell and I also taste it a bit. It's the smell and taste of bacon only without the screams and without the torture. It tastes pretty good, I must, must say. Christmas pizza. Ever thought about that? I was actually doing some research, maybe five minutes, don't imagine I've done that much. And I really couldn't find any Christmas low fat vegan pizza. Well, I wasn't really looking for low fat, just vegan Christmas pizza. And some stuff came up, but it wasn't vegan or it wasn't too appealing. So, I'm going to give it a go. Maybe it might be the first vegan Christmas low-fat kind of pizza. Taste test in a few seconds, but it smells divine. Really smells like Christmas. Wow. Cranberry. Hmm. Wow. This is really good. Mm. The papers are in I really recommend you try this. So I have Listen to this. Home baked bread. I just finished eating. I had that bowl of oatmeal also and now I want to watch some TV bit of that 70s show, I don't know if you remember it, thumbs up if you like the 70s show, I think it's hilarious, I'm in the last uh, season and uh, I'm gonna watch just one episode, I'll try and stick to one episode and go to bed, hopefully I manage to do that. In any case, this is gonna end this vlog over here, the end of vlogmas number one and hope you like this and will join me tomorrow for vlogmas number two.